All right, we got another day here on planet Earth. <clears throat> another day. It's mid-October 2022. Early morning. Sun's not even up yet. Um, you know what really sucks about Christianity is that once you receive the Lord into your heart, once you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, and on that day give yourself to God and receive God, knowing that you are now healed and cleansed and are are born a new creature. Um, the thing that sucks about it is that, you know, the next day comes. Unless, of course, you die, and then, of course, you go before the Lord. But let's just, assuming, let's just assume that, you know, you're not dead yet. And you're still here on planet Earth. And let's just say you gave your life to Christ yesterday or the day before or a month ago or two years or five years or ten years or twenty or fifty. The thing is, the day comes, the next day comes, and the battles continue on. Now, I wonder, we probably hope, there's probably a hope that eventually our battles will just end here. You know, if especially if you receive God, the battles end. And now it's time to frolic in paradise and and have no worry at all. And that just isn't the case. Now, the battles happen every day. Some days are some days the battles are greater and some days the battles are a little little docile battles, but they're still battles. And someday, if, if we're really lucky, some days, if we're really lucky, uh, there, there's, the battles seem to be on, on hiatus. But they come back, that's for sure. They, they eventually come a-knocking. And there's battles with finances. There's battles with relationships. There's battles with health. There's battles with existentialism. There's battles with in politics. There's battles in all kinds of There's all kinds of battles world wars and things of that nature. The battle with good and evil every single day. Now, the battles continue on. Now, that's what sucks about being a Christian. That's what sucks about receiving the Lord is that you might think that they'll go away, but they don't. But here's the good news. The good news is, is that you're going to face the battles, but you now have God on your side to fight your battles. Most importantly, see, this is the thing. Sometimes it paints the wrong picture as if like you're in a battlefield with a shield and fighting off other warriors who are trying to attack you, but you've got God right there. Because you got to wonder, what about the other warriors? Don't they have God on their side? Maybe you think that, oh, well, then they must be evil warriors because they shouldn't have God on their side. God's on my side. As if I was some kind of saint or as if we're some kind of saint. But the truth is, if you have repented of your sins and you try to not live in sin and try to not be an evil person, um, God, we can have a unity with the Lord. And so that's the first thing, right, is to repent of our sins, to say, Lord, I know I messed up. And I mess up every day. It's, it's hard not to. But Lord, I, I'm asking for you to forgive me, and I thank you for giving me the strength to not give in to sin, to not give in to but we're all dealing with all kinds of sins. Some of us are dealing with really terrible sins. Some of us, our sin is just like, uh, you know, whatever. But we still have to deal with it, and we still need God to forgive us. That's why Jesus died on the cross, so that by the, by, through his, by his bloodshed, we can be healed. Because otherwise, if there was no sacrifice, if there's no Redeemer, then we seriously just become wretched wretched creatures but God did what God did and thankfully we have that that, that, that 
that is that is one of the most powerful things that we could accept here on earth as creatures of God. Now let's go back to the battles. The battles are going to be here. Your work battles, your family battles, your spousal battles, your your battles with your friends, your battles with everything else out there, your internal battles, your battles with health and so on. I already mentioned these battles. There's plenty of them out there. I can sit here and list them off for days and days. But now let's go back to the good news, which is this, that God helps us in our battles. And it's more of like, now that we, it's more of like, now that we have God, we can, we can take on bigger battles. We don't have to, we don't have to constrict and implode and lose our sense of identity and become disoriented and lose our, lose our balance in this world. Because it gets worse. It can actually, it actually gets, a, it actually can get a lot worse it's not just like, oh, I'm having a hard time uh, organizing the family together with my wife and being disciplined with the kids and so on. The, the, it goes further than that. It's like, hey, at least I'm properly oriented. At least I'm stable enough in my spirit, spirituality and my, in my mentality to be able to have a productive conversation with my wife. And and that I am not losing my sanity. So God gives us stability in all these. Those are battles that he fights for us that we may not even think that we're fighting, but we are. And again, we can choose difficult battles. We can choose them. I mean, they're going to come get us anyway. The battle's going to come to our front door. But as a Christian, as a God-fearing Christian, you can start to face bigger battles. And that's a good thing. I mean, as, as much as it would be great to, to frolic in a peaceful park and fish all day and not have a single worry in the world. I mean that's that's great, right? We like we like days like that. We all have days where we can go out and fish and hang out and and not have to worry about anything. Or maybe it'd be even better if there was absolutely nothing to worry about. And that right there is just the the epitome of heaven, right? <clears throat> Isn't that what we all desire? Just to be able to have absolutely zero worry and zero responsibility, zero concern for the outcome of things, it's just always going to be great. Well, you know, the interesting thing is we can actually have that. We have that through the Lord because we know, we know that God is the Alpha and the Omega, that God reigns forever. These temporal things sometimes seems so large and and that we that that is the end all be all to things that are that your current circumstance and your current hell that you're going through is is the finale which is simply not true now sometimes we carry along these hells for sustained periods of time because we don't fully give it to god we have to fully give it to the Lord. Once we receive that peace with God, praise the Lord Jesus Christ, once that's there, then the battles aren't so bad. That doesn't mean that we still don't have to fight them, fight in the battles, and persevere, and become victorious over their battle, over the battle. And we're, we're assured that another battle is on the way. But the battles can get easier, especially as especially as you have God on your side and allowing God to to be the warrior, to be God. 
it's important to have God on, on our side. And we can, once the little battles are being fought and won, we're, we're going to take on the bigger battles. Bigger, bigger responsibilities. Not that we want to be over encumbered and, and completely unbearably heavy laden. It's just that, hey, I, I fought a few of these battles and I'm, I won them and I can take on a little bigger battle and I can take on a little bigger battle after that, a little bigger battle. And I know that with God on my side, I can endure these battles. So that's the Christian life, whatever that, I don't want to, I don't want to make it too plain, but God is a good God. And sometimes, sometimes, and maybe a lot of the times, days can really suck. Sometimes it's like literally gloomy out. The weather sucks. And then our mind sucks. Not that our minds and our spirit needs to conform to the, the weather of the day. Because <clears throat> the rain's going to come and it's going to be shadowy and dark and ugly. <clears throat> and then... Then the sun's going to come out. It's going to be a beautiful... Think about it right now. Right now it's October in Ohio and it's serious. The clouds are... It's so gloomy out. It's so dark and gloomy. It looks like I could just reach up and, and touch the clouds because of how thick and dark and low they are. And, you know, all you got to do is just go up a few thousand feet and, and go beyond the clouds and you'll see that beautiful bright sun. It's perspective. It's where you are. Because right now the sun is shining. It is beautiful. It is actually very beautiful. You just pop right up above the clouds. I can't wait till I finally get my paramotor so I can fly around. So, so that's an interesting thing. It's perspective. Right now this is just your perspective. You might be going through your individual hell. Things may not be working out. Or you got a ton on your plate. And it's like, oh man, this is my... This, this is your, that is your unique experience. And be okay with that because you have God on your side. God's right there. And you're going to get through it. You're going to get through it as long as you put your faith in the Lord and just keep inching forward every day. And it's going to pass. The, the, the clouds are going to move away. And there will be a beautiful, bright, sunny day. 73 degrees. Just a tiny bit of a little, tiny bit of a little breeze just so it's nice and so it's so so the air is nice and flowing, but not too much to make it cold. Not too much where you couldn't do anything um, because the wind would blow things over. It's, it's just a perfect day. And those days are going to come. We all know it. Spring is going to come. Summer is going to come. But then guess what? There's going to be another fall and another winter and then another spring and another summer. And it's just going to keep happening. And we, we, we know this now. It's not a surprise. The battles in your life are going to keep happening. But during the battles, you always know that God is always there in control. God forever reigns. Is that not the best thing to put your faith on? That God is a provider. God's there. The battles will come, but God forever reigns. So thank you, Lord, for this day. No matter what happens, people are going to go through crap today. I'm going to go through crap. Something's going to go great for somebody today. And for somebody else, it's going to be awful. And for somebody else, it's going to be all right. <clears throat> and for another person, it's going to be just extremely amazing. And But everything, everything ebbs and flows. Everything goes this way. The tide goes in. The tide goes out. What goes up must come down. Blah, 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 blah. And it's just the state of how... It's just the way things are here in this, in this beautiful creation of God. So I just want to lastly say, have a fantastic day. Don't worry about tomorrow. John, Af John Asaraf said it nicely. He said, don't let your anxiety for tomorrow ruin your peace for today and that's good and I'm not one of those 
hipster like hey man all you have is today man like don't worry about anything just live in the now I, there's a certain truth to that but you know you're also you you are also a product of all the experiences and decisions you made in the past uh, you're also what you do right now affects your future you have to you have to think about the future to know where you're going you have to place your you have to set the goal in the future aim you have to have an aim for somewhere in the future now are you aiming down or are you aiming up are you aiming on the side of evil or, or on the side of good and that's what we have to decide and it's like yes you can decide those things in the present that makes sense it, it makes sense why people say oh the present's all you have but don't forget that the past and the future exists and not only that it's not only linear reverse and linear forward it's also it's also a it's more abstract than that it's not just linear there's also it's 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 multi-dimensional it goes back forward up down within without all around and so so much of it is just hard to fathom but that's why we just put our faith in the lord so have yourselves have yourself the day that you're going to have today and know that no matter what happens god is the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end and the first and the last this is god's domain and god's got it under control no need to panic no need to live in fear and anxiety fight your battles pick up your sword hold your shield tightly and move forward so praise the lord jesus christ god you are awesome forgive me of my sins and for those who are living in sin and who want to receive you don't know you net don't know you yet let them receive you let let them receive you in their heart and be at peace let them ask for forgiveness and have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with you because there is no other way to live on this planet. There's no other way the other way to live. There, if, if, because without you, Lord, we're just lost in the world. We're just completely lost, and it sucks. So thanks once again. Have yourselves a fantastic day to all you out there. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, and I'll see you tomorrow.